are going to do the lighting design of a building in Revit software using the features of Relax software. So Relax is a lighting simulation software. Using the features of Relax, it will be easier for you to design the lighting scheme of an existing plan in Revit. Now let us go to the plan. So this is the Revit architectural plan that I am having. First, I have opened an electrical template because for doing the electrical services, always we need to open that in electrical template. And in that electrical template file, just inserted this architectural plan using the link Revit option. After that, all the required levels I have created from ground floor electrical to parapet electrical. And after that, monitored each levels. Now I am going to the floor plan of this building. Actually, this is our building. It's a two-story office building. So for the time being, if I am making that discipline as coordination, this is our building. Again, I am making that into electrical. Selecting ground floor electrical lighting. And in this plan, I need to do the lighting design of different rooms. First, I need to separate them into different rooms. Okay. So for that, selecting the link first, going to edit type, room bounding, I need to turn on. Already it is on. Okay. Then again, if you want to pin that, you can pin it. Already I have pinned it. Then, I am going to architecture, selecting room option. Okay. Then from ground floor electrical to first floor electrical, I am selecting rooms. Limit offset, I am setting as zero. This is my room number one, room number two, room number three, and room number four. Okay. So these four rooms I am selecting and each of this room, I need to do the lighting separately because like in room number one, I am going to do a specific task in room number two, different tasks like that. Based on the task or the applications, I need to do the lighting scheme different. So I'm renaming this room number one, this room as office one. This is my office one. And it's my office too. Office three. And office four. Now I'm selecting office one. Going to the relax option. There you can see usage profiles option is there. Selecting that. So I'm getting a list of different applications or different areas. I'm selecting the office option from here. Selecting the filing, coping, etc. So these are the different tasks which is performed. It is possible to perform inside office area. I'm selecting the first one, filing, coping, etc. And applying that, see there you can see the required lux level, nominal values of lux levels, glare coefficient, then rendering index, then uniformity ratios, etc. Okay. This is the height of the reference plane. So I'm applying that 300 lux. Okay. So I need 300 lux. Uniformity ratio should be greater than or equal to 0.4. Then UGRL value should be less than 90. Then these are the required lux levels for different surfaces. Giving OK. OK. Now the nominal value is set. Now I'm selecting this. I need to go to the relax option. And I need to select some luminary for doing the lighting design. For that, I'm going directly to RelaxNet website, which is linked with this relax desktop software and I can download the current available items in the market from this website. 
So there are a number of options, product types like luminary sensors, 3D objects are available. Already this website we have seen on, in our previous class because while discussing about the Relax software, already this has been discussed. So I'm selecting here a number of filtering options are there based on your requirement like LDC, light distribution curve, application, mounting place, mounting type, then properties like uh, power consumption, lumens value, output, then luminous efficacy, etc. Let us filter a group of items. So anyway, I'm selecting this luminary for the time being, this one, it's a resistor type of ceiling mounted, a resistor type of luminary. So mounting place, ceiling, mounting type, resist, the photo is attached here. 28 watt is a power consumption. 4038, that is the lumens value, that is the output of the light source. 3000 Kelvin is the light color temperature. 80 is a color rendering index, CRI. I need this luminary. So after checking all its details, product data, I am selecting this luminary and I need to download this to Revit. Open in Revit option. Okay. Now I am going to my Revit software. That luminary is getting updated, giving OK. OK. Now I am selecting this room, office one, going to relax. Using e-select option, I can do the lighting design using that particular luminary. I am selecting e-select. See, using that luminary, my office one requires 12 number of luminaries in total to get that required lux level of 300 lux. Okay. So, you can see here, it is the required lux level, 300 lux, and this is the lux that we are getting, 413.4 lux. Uniformity ratio, U0 is 0 0.4. It is a required one, and we are having 0.6. Apply. Okay, finish. See, now that luminaries are arranged inside the office one. Now the remaining areas like these four office rooms, like two, three, and four. I need to do the remaining three office rooms lighting design. So I'm going to a room manager option. If you want to do a number of areas, with the same step, you may go to the room manager option. From there, one by one, you can assign the usage profile of each area and the luminary which you need to use there. So I'm selecting office two. Office two. Office one is already assigned. Usage profile, I'm selecting there. Same office. Writing, typing, reading, etc. Applying. There I need 500 lakhs to 1000 lakhs. That is the range. I need 500 lakhs. So I'm selecting. Okay. Okay. Then assigning that basic lighting. This one. Again, selecting office number three. Assign the usage profile. Technical drawing. Apply. 750 lakhs. Okay. Basic lighting. This one. If you want to change the light, we can change it. Then office number four, usage profile, CAD workstation, apply, 500 lux of basic lighting, this. So four number of rooms with four number of different activities. Okay, just I am closing this. Now you may see inside office number two, its profile, office number three, office number three, office number
اوكي اوكي اجين اي ام جوينج تو ريلاكس اوبشن اند اي ام سيلكتنج اوفيس نمبر 2 ريلاكس ذن اي سيلكس يس so inside office number 2 i need 20 number of luminaries 500 lux is the required value and we are getting 715.8 lux okay and i am applying this okay finish then in office number 3 again going to relax then e relax This is the luminary arrangement. Seven fifty lux is required. Eight thirty-seven lux. Apply. Okay. Finish. Then office number four. Again, going to relax. This relax. Okay, again here I need twenty number of luminaries. Five hundred lux is the required value, and we are getting seven twelve point four lux. Apply. Okay, finish. Yes. So if you are going to the elevation there, and I need to turn on the visibility graphics here for the lighting fixtures. lighting devices and lighting fixtures apply okay yes. then you can see the light fixtures are there which level you may see that it is set at ground floor ceiling level again i am going to the 3d view now so there also vg visibility graphics i need to turn on only architectural and electrical items then in electrical i need to turn on that lighting devices and lighting fixtures supply okay now you can see that light fixtures for these four rooms so it is now very easy to do the lighting design using the relax features in ravit okay so same like this for the remaining areas also you may perform that lighting design corridor toilets etc then the same can be applied to first floor as well okay so that is how we are doing lighting design for a number of rooms inside a building in ravit using the features of relax soft